All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of two minus x to the power of three is equal to 12. So I'm gonna first start by reading, rewriting this as x, negative x to the power of three plus x to the power of two is equal to 12. And from here, I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative one. So now I get x to the power of three minus x to the power of two is equal to negative 12. And now, finally, I can add 12 on both sides. So now I get x to the power of three minus x to the power of two plus 12 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite 12 as eight plus four. And I'm going to move, I'm gonna actually move some terms around. I'm gonna move eight next to eight to the power of three. So I have x to the power of three plus eight minus x squared plus four is equal to zero. And eight is the same thing as two to the power of three. Four is the same thing as two squared. If I have something in form a to the power of three plus b to the power of three, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. And a squared plus b squared is equal to, or sorry, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I get x plus two times x squared minus two x plus four minus x plus two times x minus two is equal to zero. From here, I can factor out x plus two. So I get x plus two times x squared minus two x plus four minus x plus two is equal to zero. And if I simplify this, I get x plus two times x squared minus three x plus two is equal to zero. Sorry, minus three x plus six is equal to zero. Now I get two equations from this. I get x plus two is equal to zero. And I get x squared minus three x plus six is equal to zero. So for x plus two equals zero, x is obviously equal to negative two. And for x squared minus three x plus six equals zero, you have to use the quadratic formula. And I'm not gonna waste your guys' time by actually plugging these into the quadratic formula. But the final answer is that it's actually gonna be rejected because the, because the square root is gonna be negative and you can't take the negative of square root. So my only answer is x equals negative two. All right, so in this problem, I have 25 to the power of x minus 15 to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x. So I'm gonna first start by dividing all my terms here with nine to the power of x. So now I have 25 over nine to the power of x minus 15 over nine to the power of x is equal to one. Nine to the power of x over nine to the power of x is equal one. Now I'm gonna rewrite 25 over nine as five squared over three squared to the power of x minus 15 over nine, that's just simply equal to five over three to the power of x, and this is equal to one. Now five squared over three squared, that's equal to five over three squared. So I have five over three squared to the power of x minus five over three to the power of x is equal to one. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So five over three to the power of two to the power of x, that's gonna equal five over three to the power of x to the power of two. And I have this minus five over three to the power of x is equal to one. Now I'm going to let five over three to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y squared minus y is equal to one. And if I subtract one on both sides, these two cancel out and I get y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. 
So now to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I have negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times negative 1. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over negative 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over negative 2. I'm sorry, this will actually be just a regular 2. So now that I have my value for y, remember how I said 5 over 3 to the power of x equals y. So now I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now if I take the log on both sides, I get log 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And now I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 over 3. If I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, I get log 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So I'm going to first start by factoring out 4 to the power of x. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 512. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, I get 4 times 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 times 4 to the power of x, well, 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1. So 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of x, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x plus 1. And this is equal to 512. Now, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So I have 2 squared to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 512, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x plus 1, it's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1. And 2 times x plus 1, I can simply distribute the 2, so I get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x plus 2 is equal to 9. Now if I subtract 2 on both sides, I get 2x is equal to 9 minus 2, which is 7. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 7 over 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and check if this is right. So to check, my original equation was 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. Now if I plug in 7 over 2, I get 4 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 4 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 4 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 4 to the power of 7 over 2 is equal to 512. Now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared to the power of 7 over 2 4 times is equal to 512, and these two cancel out, so now I have 4 times 2 to the power of 7 is equal to 512, and 2 to the power of 7 is 128, so I have 4 to the power of 128 is equal to 512, and 4 to the power of 128 is 512. So I have 512 is equal to 512, and because this is right, my solution here is right.